Hello everybody, my name is Soleil. For those who just saw my previous video about the Keto Crisp, I am doing um, various videos that I feel like I need to catch up on since I have been doing Keto for over a year. And as some people might see on my channel, there's like four months of me not being online showing you guys what I've been consuming. So I decided to try to catch up. So what I wanna talk about is um, alcohol, hard kombucha. I, when I first started doing keto, one of the things I was thinking about was like, man, yeah, I'm not going to go have beer. I'm not going to be able to have wine, which isn't like a huge deal. But I mean, like, it's just one of those things that you like add to like the plate of things you're not supposed to have. So, um, I came across some keto beer, keto friendly beers that I liked. They were all right. They weren't the best compared to a regular beer. But the one thing I have come across that I have stuck with that I absolutely love is this. It's Flying Embers. Uh, I personally like the flavors, the uh, grapefruit with a hint of thyme. I know it sounds crazy. With a hint of thyme, you're like, ew, that's weird, but it tastes good. And then they're wild berry. Um, it is a hard kombucha. So if you don't like kombucha, you're not going to like this probably. But I already love kombucha as it is. I stopped drinking kombucha because the ones that I usually get, the Synergy ones, are full of sugar. So I can't get them anymore, unfortunately. So when I started to drink these, I was excited because I was like, oh, I like kombucha. It's kind of like a lighter version of a regular kombucha with a little bit of a booze flavor, which I dig. Um, low alcohol, 4.5%. So unless you're wanting to get drunk, uh, you have to drink a lot of these, but it's like whatever, like I don't mind. I, I like to be able to like sit down and have an alcoholic beverage and you know feel like I did pre-keto, you know, without all the carbs and sugar. So the one thing that stands out about this specifically is that on the back of it, it says live probiotics, antioxidants, USDA organic adaptogens, which I should probably look that up. I don't know what that is. Uh, Gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, and keto. Hopefully I can show it right there. Shows it. Yep. Keto. So um, give this a shot. Flying Embers has some crazy flavors. I have not tried all of them. Um, the one I did not like was the blackberry lime. I just didn't like it just because it was more lime than it was, ah, blackberry, sorry, black cherry. I assumed it was going to be like more of a cherry flavor, but that lime really came through and kind of killed the cherry flavor. So um, that's not for me. They had another flavor, which I'm hoping it's seasonal. I hope it's so bad because it was a peach coconut and it was their 8% alcohol. And it came in a larger container and it was great. Like I loved it. So um, if you're on keto and you're wanting to have a low calorie or, you know, low alcohol beverage, try this. Um, oh yeah, and also there's no carbohydrates in it, no sugar in it, and it's 85 calories. And this one has a little bit of vitamin C. Didn't know that. So definitely give this a shot, keto friendly. I love it, yes. So I'm probably going to be dishing out a bunch of these little videos. I also want to talk about, uh, I just got a nose piercing recently and I want to talk about that too. So you're going to see a bunch of little videos back to back. So. All right. I'll see you guys next time.